ELI 5. How do imaginary numbers like square root of minus 1 actually help in real life? Imaginary is a poor name choice. These numbers exist, and are used to understand how things happen in the physical world. At the simplest level, numbers can represent things that don't only have a size, but also a direction, e.g. a vector. So we need a system with two dimensions to represent vectors. The number line you learn in grade school is only the x-axis, and it has a unit value of 1. The sqrt, minus 1, is the unit value on the y-axis. A number that has both a real and imaginary component is called a complex number. Complex is more useful name than imaginary. So why is it that value? When you multiply vectors, that means you get the product of their length, and the sum of their direction. A unit pointing straight up, 90 degrees, multiplied by another unit pointing straight up will have a direction of 180 degrees. So when we multiply the unit value from our second axis times itself, we get a unit value pointing backwards on our number line, and that is just a value of minus 1. So the unit value pointing up when squared equals minus 1, which is another way of stating the unit value equals sqrt minus 1. As for where this is used, it comes up a lot in electronics when dealing with alternating current AC signals. AC isn't just used for power, communication signals are also AC, and doing the crazy math required to jam lots of information into a signal to get things like fast wireless internet requires a lot of complex numbers. Circuit analysis with capacitors and inductors also requires complex numbers. Like I said before, these values exist in the real world. Complex numbers are just one way to represent them mathematically.